What is that dream that keeps you awake at night? And how far are you willing to go to achieve it? Uh, it's nice, bro. And the road is too bad. Oh, God. Almost there. We have arrived. We have arrived. Yeah, finally, man. Wow, just hear that sound. What kind of species of bird is that? <laughs> like in this forest, there are so many wild animals. If you are coming here, you're ready to hear sounds. <laughs> Dude, it's like angel, man. A freaking angel. This is the angel here, bro. The question that was on my mind while coming here in that vehicle was how do I survive in this place? It's something that is new, it's an experience that I've never had in my life before. Ah, so many bushes, trees, plants. So this is the structure of the toilet in the most unique toilet. You are literally looking at the forest in front of you and then you are getting inspiration right here. This is the only place you see the monkey. There are other animals that live here in this forest. Imagine eating food with all this sound all around you. Yeah, so I've seen some of the monkeys. See some monkeys there, can you see them? <laughs> These trees will be like over how many years? Like over hundreds of years, man, these trees. Imagine living in the forest with monkeys and chimpanzees, man. That's an adventure that you must do in your lifetime. <laughs> um, you must be really passionate or crazy to do something like this. Um, in my case, maybe it's the both of them, I don't know. Whatever you want to call me, that's fine. All I know is that the world must see the beauty of the Niger Delta. Good morning Nigeria and good morning world. <laughs> it's around 6 a.m. here in uh, the forest, the Dre Ranch and Cross River State. And I'm going to have my bath. Man, I can't wait to get there. And I just I'm someone that loves shower a lot, right? And I feel like using the shower and hearing all these beautiful sounds in the forest is like a very unique experience that I can't wait to just have right now. <laughs> what a beautiful day. What a beautiful day! Hey, I hope I don't get lost looking for where the road to the shower is because there are so many routes here. Yeah. yeah, this is one road. I don't know where it leads to. Yes. Can you hear that sound? What kind of species of bed is that? <laughs> there are two roads here. There's one here and there's one here. Now I'm trying to figure out which of them is the road to the shower. Anyway, let me try and see what I find. <laughs> I'm taking the right road first. The road on the right. Let's hope that I'm going to the right place. <sighs> this is really exercise in the morning. I don't think this is the right road. I don't remember I was passing a tree like this in the night. Though it was in the night, but I doubt. I think I followed the wrong road, guys. <sighs> Man, this is exercise in the morning. Come and do exercise in the forest by trekking long distances from your cabin to the shower. <laughs> so this is the second part, but it still feels like I'm lost. I think I'm on the wrong part of the shower uh, because it didn't take this long for our guy to take us, Mr. CJ, to take us to the shower yesterday night. I have to go back and ask somebody. <sighs> Man. I'm enjoying this actually, I'm, I'm really enjoying this. Normally at home, we have the comfort of just moving from the bed to the shower, the toilet, so easily. But yeah, you have to travel a distance, right? And I think it's good, it forces you to just enjoy all this nature and beauty and all. If you're not going to experience that, what did you come here for, man? <laughs> Guys, I think I may have found the road. I think I found the road. It should be by this side because I see a rope. Yes, I found it. I found the road to the shower. <laughs> so when I want to have my bath, I'm going to put this rope like this. Imagine your shower in the midst of the woods, man.
<sighs> I just finished having my bath here, guys, and it was so special. Like, and um, I think the journey yesterday, despite the stress, right now all that stress was worth it. Getting here with the bad road and all that. So this is the rope I told you about. When you put the rope like this, everybody that's coming here will know that yes, you're actually having your bath and they will not enter. What a good way to start the morning. I cannot wait to see all the beautiful things in this place, the monkeys and all the animals that are here. In case you are wondering where we are, we are in a place called Dre Ranch located in the forest of Boki local government area in Cross River State, Nigeria. Dre Ranch is an organization set up to preserve one of the world's most endangered primates called the Dre Monkey. A species that almost got extinct due to so many bad reasons, but this organization has been preserving their species and that of other animals in the forest. To learn more about this organization and what they do, you can watch the previous stream on my channel. The link is in the description below. In this film, we want to go deeper into the forest and enjoy nature in its raw form. Let's see if we can survive without our phones or the internet for 24 hours. Enjoy this adventure with us. <laughs> yeah, so I've had my bath and changed my shirt to white and we'll soon move now. How do I look guys? Does that look good? I'm thinking of combing my hair or not. I hope I can really keep this hair to like when it's like three times its height. It'll be so cool. If you watch this video, what do you think about my hair? You can comment uh, down below. This is our cabin right here. See how beautiful that cabin is. Like that's what we sleep in the night. It's very safe. And you know, you don't need AC in this kind of place. It's just so cool to sleep here in the night. I'm very conducive. Yeah, so I've seen some of the monkeys. Hey monkey. Hey. Hey monkey, say hi. See some monkeys there. Can you see them? <laughs> I'm heading to the toilet. Um, what are they doing in the toilet, guys? interesting stuff happen in the toilet that's how we get inspiration that's where we get ideas that shake the wall this is something similar to the bedroom this is um how you show that you are about to use the toilet so yeah we've reached the toilet here this is the structure of the toilet very very fine you can see made of zinc here we are in the most unique toilet in the world <laughs> no toilet is finer than this man because you're literally looking at the forest in front of you and then you are getting inspiration right here. From the fire right here. Yeah, cooking noodles. And there is Dorothy, one of the amazing people here at Dre Ranch. I tried to offer this food. Okay. And guess what? You're about to see the good food I cook. Oh yeah, oh yeah, food is ready. Cheddar is about to be blown away by my food recipe because I'm so good, man. I should start my own YouTube channel on how to make food and how to cook. I'm taking the bottom pots because on the bottom pots we pass. <laughs> nice. Too much pepper. Cheddar is eating my food and he's enjoying himself. Like this guy is literally, he has been licking his lips since. There's too much pepper enjoying in his himself. Food. See, I'm sweating. It's not true, bro. You're sweating because of you're not under AC. It's not the pepper. Too much of pepper, guys. No, no it's There's not. There's too much pepper in this food. No, it's not the pepper. I'm telling you, pepper is not. That is Buddha right there, guys. Buddha is a very beautiful dog. Yo. Hey, Buddha. Hey, Buddha. Hey, Buddha. Hey. <laughs> he likes the camera. <laughs> So right now we are heading to see one of the drill group. We have six of the group here. So I would like you to see one of the group. Okay. Then you see how drill monkey looks like. Well, right now, so what thing what we do, we feed them every morning. And in the morning, most of them come here and assemble here at this particular area. This you place, you live in the forest, yeah. I live here in camp. Okay. So it's best to live here than to live somewhere else, like enjoying the, the environment. Okay. So forest is life for me. Oh nice. That's that's okay. Mm -hmm. that's the, the environment is cool, quiet and relaxed. They said we want to go see where like small small waterfall. Okay, there's waterfall here. Yeah. Okay, where is the waterfall? Is it far? The water not like wow but yeah, it's 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 the What's the name? Me? Yeah. Oh. Wisdom. Wisdom, yeah, wise man. <laughs> that's why you're preserving animals, yeah. But that's so cool. 
<laughs> yeah, ask me where that was. I'm going to swim. I'm going to swim in there. You'll be village boy now. You'll swim anywhere. Mr. Wisdom, why are you taking us now? I'm taking you deep into the forest to show you some other attractive places. Like we have the long lost canopy walkway and then pools that have been lost for ages. But there was a flood in 2017 and all the pools in the river were gone. So uh, we discovered a few with my friend. So since then I've been taking people there to see it. We're walking down to see a pool uh, with Mr. Wisdom here. You know how important what you're doing is? Yes. How? How important is it? Yes. Drew monkeys are like one of the most endangered species in the world right now. Yeah. So conserving them and bringing their numbers back up is helping. Okay. Both to them and the society. With the new development is also and the education program, yeah, people are beginning to change their mindset towards these animals. Okay, nice. Before we continue, I want to appreciate the sponsor of this film. One of our wonderful channel members and believer in the beauty of the Niger Delta region and Nigeria will be Loretta. Because of our donation, we were able to travel and tell this story. Thank you so much, Obi, for your support and for believing in our vision. If you are watching this, you can also support our work through the channel membership link in the description below. Join the wonderful community today and together let us tell these beautiful stories. Um, <laughs> This is what we we'll go through, man. <laughs> this is what we we'll go through to tell these stories. I see how beautiful this is. But we we'll have to pass through this thick forest to be able to do this, man. Crazy. These trees will be like over how many years? Over hundreds of years, man. These trees. Crazy. Wow. Hey bro, what's up? Uh, this oh. journey is this journey is really really tiring, bro. It's not an easy one. <laughs> oh, so that has to be here, man. Damn it, this place. Okay. Ah. So many bushes, trees, plants oh, guys, yeah, in the forest. Wow. Well, no water here at the moment. It's not rainy season. Oh, we found water. Water is flowing. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. Water used to be more cheap before, like crazy. But during rainy season, you see all oh, year water will fill up this place. And it will be so nice. <laughs> so cool, man. Ah. We found water again. The fishes in the water. Dude, I've like injured, man. Ah, I freaking injured. See the injury here, bro. So we finally arrived at where the water is. We've been working for a long time now. I've been two stones for you. So these stones are kept for me and Chidera by our friend here, Wisdom. <laughs> Anytime we come back here, we'll always see it and remember that we came here. Tattoo. Wow. Okay, do it, do it on me. Natural tattoo. Yeah. That is Chidera getting one. <laughs> one beautiful artwork on his hand. Wow. Natural tattoo, or we like call it artwork on my hand. Wow. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> So far. Wow. Right, so you cool. wipe it up with your hand up. Yeah. We're going to feed the dream monkeys with boiled banana. Yes. Let's go. Let me show you that experience. Wow. It's feeding them. What is he trying to do? He's trying to make No, not trying to make it. It's just normal. It's just one of their social behaviors. This is double chip. Here is the chimpanzee section. Okay. The chimpanzee has very good memory. 
Abdul. Who is Abdul? This. This, guy, this, this is Abdul. Yeah. Oh, see, 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 he's playing. He's playing with the. He's looking at the. Yeah, because he's seeing the video now. He's yeah. seeing the, what they're doing. Wow. So that's one thing with Chimpanzee. Here yeah, is like a. Um, here is a. I said I will call it an orphanage home for a chimpanzees. So all the chimpanzees that we have here are. They are orphans. They were came. They came from where people kept them. You know, as pets. You see. And they have most of them. They have lots of stories, sad stories, sad history. Yeah. Imagine living in the forest with um, monkeys and chimpanzees. Uh, it's amazing, man. But you have to be very daring to take on a journey like this or go on an adventure like this, man. You have to be either daring or crazy or really passionate about what you are doing. <laughs> it has not been the easiest journey so far, but. It's been really interesting um, being here. Oh, it's, 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 it's very big. Yeah. Will it come out as you're turning? <laughs> come Turtles, out. Turtles, do they bite? Yeah, they bite. They can eat a uh, big rat. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. She knows that I don't have food for her. <laughs> <laughs> Here, one, one turtle. Okay. Uh, because this is big, it's very big, it's like that size. Oh. And here is a small one, it's like this size. Okay, big. Okay. But it's also amazing. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Say that again, it's called what? The big one is Pendejo. And the small <laughs> one is? And the small one is what? Pendequito. Pendequito. <laughs> Who named Not them? Here. <laughs> Carolina, you named them. <laughs> Carolina, are those Spanish names? No, it's, not, it's Mexican names. Okay, Mexican, Mexican names. What's the meaning of that? Look. Oh, okay. It's coming out. Yeah, I can see that. Come on, baby. You're a small. Pendejito. And beautiful face. Pendejo, come out. Is there anyone that can carry it with their Oh, hands? I'm seeing it. She can carry it. She can carry oh, it. Oh, wow. This shell, is, this shell is beautiful. What are you cooking? I'm cooking Gary and soup. Gary and soup? Yeah. Hmm, you know how to cook very well. Eba, very well. <laughs> That's very cool. Well. It's cooking Gary and soup. This is what we do after work. This La is the first thing in the quarters. Nice. Yes, yeah. yeah, we prepared Eba. Mm -hmm. The table is set. It's set, look at it. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you're cooking the soup. Yeah, this is the leaves. This is hot leaves. Oh nice. I'm using to prepare the soup. Okay, yeah. cool. So all the ingredients are up there in the pot. Forest life. Yeah, sure. Jungle <laughs> life. <laughs> if you are here, you're on your own because you can't come here with your wife or your girlfriend. Really? Yeah. Why? Sure. I'm, I'm planning to bring my wife here one day. Yeah, if you are you are very free, but we workers here. Right. We oh don't yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't. Yeah. Oh, workers. Mm, that may be a distraction to your work. Mm. You like snakes? I like them. Really? Mm. They've survived I mean like What? How long have snakes been around? Crocodiles, reptiles. Mm. They were like been been around since dinosaurs. Since creation man. And they're clearly doing something right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's the first time hearing that they should say they're doing something right. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, that's a different perspective, and they are part of the ecosystem too. They, yeah. Hmm. Snakes. I prefer to have a snake in my cabin than a rat in my cabin. Hmm. Are you serious? The other snake will eat the rat. <laughs> <laughs> the snake will eat the rat. Yes, though. <laughs> What if the snake beat you? Then you know like you love bites. Mm. 
Yeah, as we mentioned, like it's not just going to come up and bite me for no reason. Yeah. Things don't do that. You the know, second most the dangerous bush. animal on the planet the is mosquito. And that's the thing. You know what the number one most dangerous animal on the planet is? Humans. <laughs> Nigeria has some of the most unique wildlife in the world. Oh. Mm -hmm. Look at... Nigeria is number three in Africa for primate biodiversity. Nobody ever thinks of Nigeria as a wildlife country. Mm. Number three in Africa of biodiversity behind DRC and Cameroon. Yeah. Uh -huh. Nigeria has elephants. Nigeria has chimpanzees. Nigeria has lions. It has giraffes. It has the the hippo <laughs> in the north. Where did we have all of these iconic species oh, really? that everybody looks at Kenya and it's like, wow, Kenya's got elephants yeah. and lions and giraffes. Well, because Kenya like, preserves theirs more. And they, and they we have it, it here. And they show it to the world. I think. We have all of the stuff here. We have everything possible for ecotourism and wildlife tourism uh -huh. to take over from oil as, yes, yes, yes. as the economy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We, we, the, 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 the wildlife here is in, incredible. You can't see it anywhere else. But, we yeah. have the most endangered ape, great ape in the world. Huh, on that? the mountain, the most endangered great ape in the world is on the mountain, the Cross River Gorilla. No ape species is more endangered than that. Oh. The most endangered chimpanzee of the four subspecies of chimpanzee here in Nigeria. Tons of endemic species only found in Nigeria or within this area of Nigeria and Cameroon. Uh, we have... It has so much to offer. It has so much talent and it has so much resources. Yeah. Nigeria shouldn't be a developing country with the amount of money we have. It should be in the... Nigeria should be in the G20. Yeah. The biggest 20 economies in the world. It should be. Uh, if things were utilized correctly. Seen all of the potential and falling short mm. of what it really could be. Because I, for wildlife, we could be on par with Kenya, South Africa, mm -hmm. no problem. We don't have rhinos, okay, whatever, but we have everything else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're very right. It's just, it's just, it's just the brains that want the, the, the leadership. And the fact that the, the population allows it. Yeah. Yeah. But what do you think they need to put in place for all these things to work? First, it needs to become a secure country. Security, number one. Let me help yeah, you. Yeah, if you want if you want to have any kind of tourism in mm, this country, security. security. Yeah. Nigeria is a country where you have to really have passion and decide on your own that you want to do something. If not, <laughs> nothing's going to work. Because you look at all the challenges, the challenges are so obvious. Mm -hmm. If you can list challenges, you list from today to tomorrow. And you keep listening. And then you pull, you pull a whole paper, get another paper, keep filling it up. But at the end of the day, I, th I feel like um, passion, perseverance will be tested in Nigeria. Nigeria is the greatest test of everything. Passion, I faith, swear. perseverance. They'll vision, test, they'll test go, everything. dream, have you, guys, have you guys been out of the country? <laughs> Your strength. No. You haven't been out of the country? No. Have you been out of the country? I've been to only African countries, Liberia and Togo. I what brought you to Liberia and Togo? My dad was a missionary. So I, okay. I used to travel around Nigeria, east, west, north, south, like Kaduna, Abia, I named it. Lagos, Benin, you know, different places. So basically, we're traveling. So he, he was, he went to Liberia on mission work. Which now work. That's when my sister was even born, so that's what took us to Liberia. But for Togo, I went there for French while studying. My third year, I went there for seven, about eight months, seven months. How did you like it? It was actually cool. It was really cool, actually. It was a new experience. French, I had to speak French. Men in the village that have 40 children. In Nigeria, you have to go in your home country. Yeah, mm. uh, I would have to fly, go to my embassy, mm. the Nigerian embassy in my home country, mm. apply in person, pay the money, wait weeks, no guarantee mm. if you get mm. the visa or whatever. Um, it's very challenging to get visas here. Yeah. Um, wow. Well, the first time hearing it from 
a point, a, a point out that perspective. Like, I was, I was thinking coming to I was Nigeria thinking, though, was like, very easy. easy. Like, yeah. No. I was thinking but it why, would be why, right. why, 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 why? Okay, okay, you can't go online to book it. Okay, that's you, can, you can you can do an online visa. But when you go physically, you And easy. you can't do it in other countries. You have to do it in your, your country of origin. Yeah. But but sure. when, when you go when you go there to the office, is it easy? Is the process mm. friendly? It's still not. You paid the hundred and sixty dollars for the visa application fee. Mm. She probably paid close to a thousand dollars in transport what? just to get the visa. Flight to the embassy, a hotel, rent a vehicle, spend a couple of days, all of that. Just to get the visa. Yeah. And then you've not paid for flight here to the country. No, this is just to get the visa. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. But my country is in so Yeah, they want people to come just make an e-visa online application yeah, where you, you just type in your information. Yeah, very, and, and that's why that we have a lot of foreigners still, but it means that if the visa was easier to get, there would even be more. We have a lot of foreigners that work here. Okay. Carol and I, Carol, myself, people that work here, we are resident. We, we have residence permit. Okay. It's still challenging to get a residence permit. Really? The mountain here has the largest barn swallow roost in the world. Oh, we have unique from... bird species as well. Oh, the way from Europe. Yeah, birds migrate. Yeah, yeah, yeah they yeah. do migrate, but that's a long distance. Yeah. Wow. These are manatees. Okay. These are what water animals. Hmm? They stay inside water. They're in Lagos. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. They they live in uh, brackish water, so the the mixture between ocean water and fresh water is where manatees live. Okay. But they're ocean mammals. Water, um... They're mammals. They're not fish. Uh -huh. They breathe air. So they don't, they can't stay underwater the entire time. They breathe air. Oh, so cool, man. This is the first time I'm going. hearing about this. You're I learning, swear. You're learning something new. I swear, bro. I think I've seen this animal in a video on YouTube. This, this animal looks like um, I'm not sure why I've seen this animal, but I wasn't even sure. This animal looks like a penguin or something. No, yes, um, in a way, it resembles a penguin. It resembles a sea lion. Yeah. It resembles a, it resembles a sea lion actually. It's so sad to leave Dream Ranch, man. I really don't want to leave, man, but I don't have a choice. I've enjoyed my stay here so far, and it's been amazing. I'm really grateful. And also, yeah, yeah, see some monkeys. <laughs> see monkeys, they're saying hello to us. <laughs> All right, so this is me saying uh, goodbye to Dream Ranch. I hope I can come back here again one day. This is my amazing guy, Mr. Hope. Say hi, Mr. Hope. Hi. hi. <laughs> I'm Mr. Daniel behind, and that is Chidera. So we're leaving now. Stay blessed, stay wonderful. God bless. Thank you for watching to the end and for sharing this wonderful adventure with us. I want to end this film by sharing something very important with you. Have you always wanted to be part of something revolutionary? Something that will make a positive impact in the lives of people and the whole region? Then you can join me in this 5 to 10 years journey of showing the world the beauty of the Niger Delta. With this project so far in the past one year, God has really helped us reach out to flood victims, get school fees for students from my last video, and also reach out to many businesses and tell that story to the world. If you're a true fan and you believe in our stories and the beauty of the region, the Niger Delta, and Nigeria, you can join my channel membership, or whatever option you are fine with. You can pick it through the link in the description below. Every month you can support the work that we do traveling across the region. And as a thank you for your support, you get some benefits like a shout out on social media and in our themes, access to behind the scenes, discounts and many more benefits. Let's reshape the bad nights for the Niger Delta and show the world the beauty of our region and Nigeria. Thank you so much for your support. I love you. Stay wonderful.